Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome once again to the Sunday service. My name is Zeke and this is Gateway Community Church where we reach people and transform lives. Glad to have you with us today. So regardless of what time you're in, it might be a morning time at this point or you might be around cresting towards the evening or in the afternoon. Regardless of which, regarding time zones and such, you might be uh, here within the Philippines or outside. Once again, welcome home. Find a seat, if you will. Uh, or find a spot where you're comfortable with in case you're in the kitchen just find a good area where you can watch or if you're in the bedrooms or in your con- or in your uh, living rooms go ahead there and if you have a companion as well say to the person next to you 
I'm glad that you're here with me. Because we are. We are glad that you're here with us here at uh, Gateway. Now, before we begin, though, this is always a good time to give thanks and uh, give praise. Especially it's a Sunday. It's a good way to start the week. And also a good way to start this particular day for our service. Now, how about we take that time to reflect and to also give thanks. So, let's have a moment where it's going to be intimate and silent. We'll have that moment to pray, give our own prayers, and also we'll see each other in a bit, about one minute or so, and take that time between you and God to reconcile things or to basically get yourselves prepared, especially in your hearts right now. Okay, let's get started right about And welcome back. Thank you very much for doing that. Because this time, I can see that everyone's prepared in both heart and soul. So we're going to celebrate, we're going to worship, and we're also going to basically reflect on what God's going to give us. Now, to get everything started, though, before you stand up or join me, or if in case you want to sit down, keep that there. But before we do, go ahead and get to the worship service. Let's first start with a word of prayer, shall we? Father God, we thank you for this day, for this time. For we have gathered together despite us being distant, despite us being in different locations. Right now, as we tune in, as we prepare, may you find this moment to be a moment of wonder and peace. A moment when we would all celebrate because you are in our midst. Where you are going moving to be glorified and you are going to be raised up. So may you abound this moment. May your presence abound in this place and wherever we are gathered right now. Thank you so much. In Christ's name. Amen. All right. Rise up if you may. Or if you're having a hard time rising up, that's okay. Sit down. That's all right. But make sure to get yourselves limbered up, ready to dance, yeah. ready to sing. Because this time we're going to sing together, we're going to dance together, and I'm going to hand this over to the worship team because they are going to lead us to this service. All right, so let's get it started. Worship team, take it away. May I know Jesus more 
personally thank God for his wonderful goodness for the amazing things he has done over our lives and for the many things that he is about to do come on church let us worship him with our words of thanksgiving thank you oh God for this time Lord where we can come Father with hearts so
celebrating today and it goes something like this and God is the strength of my heart and I know that God is the strength of my heart God is the strength of my heart Portion for ever, and God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart, and my portion for.
declare it to our brothers and sisters. God is so good. He's our strength. Amen. Kami ang punat ng bawat isa. As we declare the goodness of the Lord in this place. Sin. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart. Hallelujah. God is the strength hey. of my heart and my portion for.
Come on. You know what? The Lord has given us life. Amen. Pwede ba bago tayo umupo, sabihin mo sa katabi mo, I have life and you have life. Alright. You know what? Kanina, I, I know we went around a while back, right? Pero I, I think this is more fitting of a song. Right? And kanina, we were just singing about, like, probably it hasn't really sunk in yet. Kanina na, the Lord is the strength. Right? You know, more than strength, what is strength for if there's no life? Diba? So, ito ngayon, I want you to prophesy to one another. Yes. And I want you to go to as many people as you could. Give them a high five, a fist bump, a shake of a hand, or a hug, whatever it is. Right? And say, you have life. Amen? Come on, let's just go around and bless one another. Amen? Woo! Come on. Church, go around and just bless one another. Right? Yeah. You are so good to Amen. me. Amen. Everybody lift your hands to the Lord. Let's just, let's just pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just declare your glorious name. For those of us that are here in person and even those of us that are tuning in online right now, wherever they may be or we may be, allow your Holy Spirit to be in our midst because there's no, there's no distance, Lord God, when it comes to your presence. So I pray that you would just bless every ear that hears every heart that tunes in the mighty prompting of your spirit and we just glorify you because truly in your presence there is fullness of joy God thank you so much we bless you and we just give you all glory and honor because today is the day of salvation today is the day of breakthrough Lord today is the day of healing today is a day of deliverance in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. We may be seated, parang hindi ko na yata papaalisin si JR dito, no? Parang, parang alam ko na yung feeling ni ano, Stephen Furtick pag nagpipreach yung may keyboard background at the... At the uh. Anyway, how many are happy today? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we transition to a whole new topic altogether today. We end up the first couple of weeks that we have had in January, and we kind of shift our gear towards what we will be having in the mid of February and onward March, okay? Now, how many were here last week? Remember when I started my thesis, my kind of proposal to you all when I quoted from the book of Job, where it stated there, Nasabnya, though your beginning is small, your ending will be? Very, very great. And last week, we kind of talked about, in a nutshell, that in the presence of God, even what is less is more. Amen. Everybody say that together. What is less is more. So do not confuse bigness with greatness. Let me say that again. Do not confuse bigness with greatness. And just when you thought it's over, God is probably was just yet about to begin a new thing. Amen po ba? So, this time around, I'm gonna talk about a subject matter that deals with more of that particular blessing in the context of reciprocity. Okay? Okay, hindi na natin papalisin si JR dito. Talagang sinigurado nila, JR, tinali ka nilang dyan. Okay. Actually, nilagyan natin si JR dito para hindi siya matulog. Okay. Alright. Now, let's talk about reciprocal honoring. Right? Now, what happens, now, tandaan nyo, ha, this is not in, in the part of the God that we serve. But rather, it's on our part. What happens when you learn to honor, right? What happens when you begin to recognize that which God has done for you? Actually, we enter a whole new level altogether. Parang gano, no? Have you ever been, you know, in, in kumbaga, uh, that fan house or enchanted kingdom probably or in a circus wherein 
you enter this uh, kind of you know um place no of glass no that's my glass of ibaba my glass of wall my glass of floor and you could hardly you know de- decipher where you are right and the only way for you to kind of escape that is when you enter the right door right and eventually it leads you to the exit di ba alam niyo hindi lang mahalaga ngayon that we find the opportunity but we enter the right opportunity amen po ba kasi lang hindi lahat po ng pagkakataon no ng opportunity ay nagbibigay ng pagpapala you need you, you, you need how to learn i mean you need how to decide for that now i'd like to talk about in further you know what happens when you honor god with the attitude of gratitude right so let's let's begin no uh, our our quest uh, let's just segue a little bit and let's talk about our society today society as we know it today is very consumeristic anong ibig sabihin no everything is transactional right tama po ba everything is transactional no ibig sabihin we can transact business we may be good business partners but we are not good persons because you would find out that people are in the constant quest of wanting to gain more from the other person. Di ba? Kaya nga ang tanong palagi, eh, paano naman ako? Laging ganun. Kahit sa relationship. Pati relationship ngayon, selfish, no? Di ba? Paano naman ako? Nawalan ako. Yung ganun, no? But you have to understand now, sabi niya ito, we live in a world where, ano yan? Sabi niya, net worth is more important than self-worth. Right? Ama? Di ba? Yung bang tinatapak-tapakan natin yung iba simply because we think we're better simply because we have more. But again, sabi ko nga, success is relative. You may be successful in business, but not a failure in relationship. Di ba? Kaya nga lagi yung sinasabi sa mga magulang, do not, do not confuse, no? Nasabi niya ito is, success, no, in, in work or in business, no, does not matter when there is failure in the family. Tama po ba? It does not compensate. So at the end of the day, isa pa makikita po natin, the pursuit of, ano yan? Sabi niya, value and significance. No? Alam niyo yung, have you ever really made sense of adding value on value? No? Minsan yung mga pinapahalagahan natin, bandang huli, hindi tayo pinapahalagahan. Alam niyo, you can always say to your gadgets, to your car, to your possession, I love this car. I love this. You know? Pero one thing that they don't do, they don't love you back. Pag yung kotse mo nagsalita sa yung I love you too, possessed yun, no? Delikado yun. Horror movie na yung pinapasukan mo, right? Tama? No, why do we love something that we know wouldn't love us back? We spend more money for our cars, we spend more money for our gadgets, we spend more money for a lot of things. But when was the last time you really spent money for the person you love that can love you back? Di ba? Kaya nga sabi ni Mark Driscoll at one point, sabi niya, why do we give so little to the God who gave us so much. Tama ba? So another thing we need to understand sa nito is pleasure and the feel-good mentality becomes the ano yan, standard of a good life. Ibig sabihin, pag, you know, ma- alam niyo yan, pag maganda ang buhay mo, JR, no? pag maginhawa ang buhay mo, you know, parang people easily equate that ang ganda ng buhay mo. No? Pag maginhawa ang buhay mo. Tama po ba? Pero tandaan nyo, ang daming mayayaman na maginhawa ang buhay, pero wasak naman ang pamilya. So ang ginhawa, hindi standard ng magandang buhay. Di ba? Pero wag ka, meron yung mga na, na doon na sa bukid, nakatira, no? Almusal lang, gatas ng kalabaw, pero ang saya, no? Tama ba? Na hindi ko naman sinasabing maminirahan kayo sa bukid, right? No? But what I'm trying to say is, it has something to do with the level of significance. Tatan nyo, to whatever we add value or put value, it that becomes significance to us. Okay? Dalawa yan. That becomes significance and significant. Now, tingnan nyo yung, yung katabi nyo, no? Okay? Di ba? Kartahan nyo nga yung katabi nyo. Magkano kaya ang halaga niyan, no? Tama? Walang, sorry, JR, wala ang katabi. Andito ako, bro. Girl. Just follow my voice. Right? Di ba? We are very easy, sabi ko nga last week, we live today in not only an entitled consumeristic culture, but we live today in a cancel culture. No? People are so easy of liking people and inviting them to be their friends in social media, meaning, pero they are also so quick to cancel them out. 
by simply blocking them or unfriending them. Tama ba? Come on. But we, we know the fact na, tandaan nyo, wala pong relasyon na hindi nakakasakit. Once you enter a relationship, whether it's paleo, meaning a relationship with a friend, whether it's eros, a relationship with, you know, a romantic relationship, you know, even your relationship with your parent, parang kanina, nagbibiro ang kami na JR, kasi si JR, minsan yan, tumutugtog yan sa, ano, ano, and we don't condemn him for that. I mean, that's his way of life. But, you know, minsan, sabi niya, dahil nasa band siya, tumutugtog siya sa mga, sa mga gig, no? Minsan, syempre, may mga nagiinuman, no? Tapos niyayaya daw siya. So, sabi niya, Pastor, hindi ako nagjo-join. Sabi ko, bakit? Pag nalasing ka, iikot ang paningin mo. Ano? Hindi, <laughs> 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 nah, hindi. Actually, sabi niya, ayoko. Sabi niya, no? Sabi daw sa kanya ng mga kaibigan niya, eh, JR, pag ganyan, hindi ka umiinom. Di ba? Dating ang araw, mauna kaming mamamatay sa'yo. No? Kasi kami, may bisyo, ikaw, wala. Sabi ko naman kay JR, sabi mo sa kanila, at least merong kakanta sa funeral ninyo. Di ba? Mga gano'n, no? <laughs> Tama ba, di ba? Tama? So, na, na, nasa panahon tayo na kung saan ang tao, ang re- level ng relationship natin, nasa level kung paano natin sila magagamit. Kaibigan natin matalik pag marami tayong nagagamit. No? But when was the last time you really add value on value? Ibig sabihin, pinahalagahan mo yung mga bagay na talagang may halaga. Amen? And, and a lot of us, kind of, we go to church. But I mean, really, do you really value your relationship with the Lord? I mean, is it really that significant to you? Or it's just enough to go to church on Sunday because it's Sunday and, you know, you are religious, as I was saying a while back. You are religious, but you're not really spiritual. Do not confuse religiosity with spirituality. Tama po ba? Now, let me go back to this. Let's, let's do a little bit of etymology. You know? Back in the day, you know, in the time of uh, a guy named Epicurus, you know, the word hedonism came. You know? Ano tong hedonism na to? Ibig sabihin ito, it's actually the pursuit of pleasure and ano yan? sensual self-indulgence. Ibig sabihin, back in the day when the Gro- Greco-Roman Empire was pretty much you know, the environment of the day, you know, a lot of people were simply just entering to marriage, you know, kind of eating, you know. Al- I knew this is weird, uh, pasintabi lang, no? Uh, kasi nung unang panahon, no, lalo na nung mga Romans, alam nyo, napaka-unique, meron sila mga, uh, meron sila mga areas, no, mga courtyards, na talagang doon sila nagkakainan and they are, at pag kumain sila nung panahon na yun, hindi sila nakaupo like today. We are seated upright. Noon, naka, 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 na, parang may bean bags, no? They are leaning over to the table and they are very lazy eating, no? Eating and eating and eating. And there is a very unique fixture inside the home called vomitry. I mean, yes, you heard it right. It's called vomitry. Ano? It's, it's a special sink, okay, that's uh, situated along the dining area, Kuya Dodong, no? Na just in case busog ka na, sa, pero ang sarap ng pagkain, gusto mo pang kumain, pupunta ka doon. And you know what happens, right? No? Tinutusok mo yung lalamunan mo para, you know, you do the thing, right? You know? You kind of worship the porcelain god. Right? Parang gano'n, no? Tama, no? And then pag nagawa mo na yung thing mo, no? Balik ka ulit, kain ka ulit. I mean, back in the day, gluttony is really a thing of the day. Right? Because those times, in those times, para sa kanila, they believe that pleasure is the highest good. No? Ibig sabihin, to be pleasurely driven is morally right. Walang masama. Okay? So the masters can sexually abuse their slaves. No? They can do their sexual thing in the middle of everybody and who cares? Basta gusto ko eh. No? So makikita nyo yung sinasabi in the Bible when it describes debauchery. Di ba yung pagkapalalo, yung parang Parang wala na, wala nang, wala nang kahihiyan. Al- 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 alam niyo, feeling ko parang bago sa inyo yun. No? Kunyari pa kayo. No? Today, it's the same thing. We just simply call it party. Party, right? Yay, yay. Tugs, tugs. Yeah. Yan ang mga bagay ngayon. Now, the, 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 the thing about hedonism is, you know, it's timeless. Everybody still, you know, and, and the guy named Epicurus, I was saying, you know, is relative to hedonism. It's called Epicureanism. And Epicureanism, pardon me for the etymology, 
I mean, we're going to use this, believes that sabi niya, pleasure was the greatest good. Ibig sabihin, pleasure is almost spiritual. Diba? Ibig sabihin, pagpangit ang buhay mo, hindi mo nakukuha yung gusto mo, naku, hindi ka blessed, dear. Diba? Diba kahit na ngayon may mga Christians na, you know, they equate blessing with material things na pag gumaganda ang business, may maganda kang trabaho, oh, ang blessed mo naman. Sino nagsabi sa'yo? Hindi lahat ng merong material thing or possession, hindi lahat ng blessing in that you know, context is truly a blessing coming from the Lord. Especially if those provisions are ill-gotten. Right? Tama? Saan mo nang sasabihin yung blessed talaga yung Christian? Eh, Tinan mo yung business niya, lumalago. Pero hindi nagtatites. Asaan, asaan yung justification doon? No? So at the end of the day, makikita po natin dito no? na people back in the day believe in that particular direction and understand this. Sabi niya, man's appetite for wanton pleasure is bottomless. Di ba? Tama? Now, tinanong one time, one of the richest, you know, um, guy back in the day, an industrialist and a person of Rockefeller, and he was asked, sabi niya, you know, after earning so much millions, you know, how much more do you need for it to be enough? And sabi ni Rockefeller is, just a little bit more. Di ba? And then he finally got a sickness that was terminal, And he prayed a prayer na sabi niya, Lord, I, would mind, I wouldn't mind if you give me back my earnings back in the day having only $5, you know, as a day's wage rather than having millions, but I'm filthy sick. Amen? Amen? And that actually began his quest for searching God. And as we all know it, you know, we, we know that Rockefeller was one of the successful Christian businessmen, you know. Uh, he was dying young, but because committing to the Lord, he died to be an old man, right? Now, tinan ito, man's appetite for wanton pleasure is bottomless. It knows no limit, no? When let loose without constraint, it's destructive. Diba? Sino po dito yung mga fun, you know? And I will not kind of exclude myself there. Sino sa atin yung pa-browse-browse lang sa Shopee, sa kasalasada? Yung parang magkakasakit pag walang delivery. <laughs> yung mga ganun. Tama ba? Pag nakita niyo yung shopping cart niyo, walang nakalagay, parang lalagnating kayo. Mag-repent na kayo. Di ba? Tama? Now, I'm not saying it's wrong. No? But you have to understand a little, too much of anything is wrong. Diba? Because you, you need to draw the line. So when we talk about a hedonist, a hedonist is somebody who is pursuing pleasure as the ultimate goal of life. Diba? At wala pong pagkakaiba ngayon yan. Would you say amen? Now there are, I mean, even Christians, right? Who wouldn't want to have a life that is good? I mean, you can still have a life that is good. Sabi ganong song, hey, Lord, you're so good to me. Anima? And when God talks about goodness, there is blessing forevermore. The Bible says, right? Tama? I mean, tignan yun. Uh, Malachi 2.10 talks about when you give your tithe and offering, God will open the floodgates of heaven that there will be no more room for you to receive it. So, hindi sinasabing masama ang magkaroon ng marami. ba? Diba? Ang masama yung pag yun na lang bagay o, na, o pleasure ang sinasaliksik mo. Come on. There are, there, there's two distinct directions there. Now, when the pleasure becomes your God. Amen? So, anyway, along with hedonist or the hedonistic mindset comes the idea of entitlement. Okay, would you turn to the person beside you, sabi mo sa katabi mo, the world owes you nothing. And iniwala ba kayo doon na kahit na magmaktul kayo, hindi hinto yung araw? Di ba? Di ba? Kaya nga sabi even the Lord, why worry? Di ba? 
No? Be happy. Hindi, si Bob Marley ang nagsabi na, hindi si Lord. <laughs> right? No worry. Be happy. Bu- Sana ganun lang eh. I mean, talagang, sabi niya, pinag-uusap-usapan namin nila, no? nila, nila Mon sa likod, saka BJ, sabi namin, actually, hindi naman masama, no? na maraming bayarin. Huwag niyong problemahin kung maraming bayarin. Basta may pambayat. Tama? Tama? Kaya, you know, you have, you have to build that relationship with the Lord so that the Lord will give you the ability to produce wealth. Why? Para may pambayat ka. Amen ba? But again, don't focus on the pambayad. Focus on the Lord who is the source of the pambayad. Amen ba? Pero ganda tayo minsan eh, Lord, bakit ganon? Sinasatin niya mga nagpipray tapos ang tanong niyo kay Lord, but Lord, ang tagal naman, taas ang kamay. Taas ang kamay. Yung mga naiinip na, yung mga nagpipray ng jowa, yung mga gano'n, no? Yung mga <laughs> nagpipray ng... <laughs> oh, grabe. Pag jowa ang pinag-usapan, lahat kayo kinikilig. Oo. Oh. Right? My, my point is, look at this. Right? The Lord knows everything that you need. The Bible even says you do not need to ask. So, anong, anong kulang, JR? Bakit hindi natin natatanggap yung mga pangangailangan natin na sinasabi sa banal na kasulatan na alam ng Diyos at sabi doon, bago mo pahiningi, ibinigay na niya. Okay, sabi mo sa katabi mo, nasan na? Di ba? Eh, kung binigay ni Lord, nasan na? Pati wala ka pa rin jowa. Nasaan na? Well, isa lang ibig sabihin nun. Kasi hindi ka handa. Di ba? Come on. Right? No, parang yung apo kong si Alonso. Di ba? Bigyan mo yon ng pamiliin mo. Isang libo o lollipop. Lollipop. Ah, alam na alam nyo isip bata. Pag isip bata, alam na alam nyo. Ano? No questions asked. Right? Hindi niya kukunin yung isang libo. Kukunin niya yung lollipop. Pero hindi niya alam na yung isang libo makakabili ng isang kartong lollipop. And marami sa atin ganon. We focus on the gift, not the giver. We focus on the provision, not the vision. Tama? No? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, nasa na? Okay, sagutin mo ulit, kung alam mo lang. O yun, yun ang, yun ang sagot. Yung nasa na, andyan na. Mali lang kasi yung pinaghahanapan mo. Kasi nga, ito yung masaklap. Hindi mo kasi alam. Okay, ano yung pinakamasaklap? Turn to your neighbor, smile. And then tell them, wala nga kasing alam. Di ba? No, pastor, nakakasakit ka na, pastor, namumuro ka na. Tandaan nyo, dito sa church natin, bawal magparinig. Di ba? Hindi ako, di ba, nagpaparinig. Hindi ko kayo pinapatamaan. Pinepersonal ko kayo. Di ba? Kasi kung hindi tayo nagpepersonalan dito, ba't pa tayo nandito? Kasi may pakialam ang Diyos sa inyo. Kaya kayo pinipersonal ng Diyos. Di ba? Pag kayo hindi na kayo pinipersonal ng Diyos, baka hindi kayo anak ng Diyos. Di ba? Pag tinanong nyo si, huwag na, ba na, si Panday, anak ng teteng yan. Di ba? Kaya makatabi mo. Sabi sa katabi mo, mukha ba akong breakthrough? O mukha akong breakout? <laughs> diba? Do you, how many wants breakthrough? Or how many want to break out? Diba? Yung iba sa atin, basag na basag na eh. You know, alam nyo yun, subukan nyo yun yung parang, ah, ayoko na tol. Diba? Sawa na ako. Diba? Sino sa inyo may mga dialogue na ganun minsan? Okay. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, alam mo, nakakasawa ka na rin. Eh. Di ba? Now, those are the realities of life. Now, those are all, kumbaga, gravitating towards entitlement. Alam mo bakit ganyan ang ugali mo? Kasi you feel you have the right. Right? Akala natin, in everything we have a right. Dapat, dapat pakainin nyo ako, it's my right. No? Dapat dalawin nyo ako pag ako, I feel blue. Right? Tama ba? Now, look at this. Warning. You know, because people are often gravitating towards pleasure. Sabi ni ano, no? ni, ni Eric, uh, no? Roman, sabi niya dito, greed is what? No? Ano yan? Greed is a bottomless pit. When, no, sabi niya, which exhausts the person in an endless effort to satisfy the need without ever, ano yan? Reaching 
satisfaction. Alam niyo ang problema, hindi kung how much you have, but how content you are. Diba? Sino din sa inyo malungkot pag walang laman yung wallet? Diba? Para dapat kayo si Ezekiel, prophesy to the dead bones. Diba? Let it come to life. Diba? I mean, if the Lord really is your provider, you can come to the Lord and say, Lord, no? Nathan over here, my son. You know, I love this boy. If he would go to my room in the morning, right? I'm still sleeping. And he has the habit to just sit down beside my bed. And all that he'll do is like, meaning that time for you to pray for me. Right? Before he would even eat breakfast, he would go, you know, bathe. The next thing, you know, kind of suit up. He's not Iron Man, okay? He would just suit up for, you know, tapos punta siya doon. Tapos magpapapray. Hindi siya aalis ng bahay nang hindi na pagpipray. Hindi siya mag-aalmusal. Mag- magpapapray muna siya bago mag-aalmusal. No? Alam niyo natutuwa ako sa bata na to. Yung isang anak kong bunso. No? Pag umakit sa, bab- ano yun, hindi magpapapray. Pa, lunch money. Grabe yun. Pare, hindi ka pa nagigising, no? Lunch money. Parang may pinatago. Sino sa yung mga ganun? No? Yung mga anak na pa- feeling may pinatago. Pa, tuition. Grabe. Ano na naman yan? Ala, nakabasag ako sa school ng, ano? Ng, ng lab. No? Ayan na naman, sabi niya. Di ba? Anong nabasag mo? Sabi niya, crooks, no? Nakabasag ako ng palopian tube. Paris yun. Mahal. Naniwala naman si nanay, no? Right? Alam yung mga bata, minsan napaka-entitled, ang daming hinihingi. No? Okay? Sino dito nagpe-pray, humihingi kay Lord? Taas ang kamay. Taas ang kamay. Hindi kayo humihingi? Ano mo, sinungaling? <laughs> Sino yung mga humihingi kay Lord? Okay, tanungin mo dyan sa kapwa mo, nagtaas ang kamay, may pinatago ka ba? <laughs> Yun ang masaklap. Ang hilig humingi, walang pinatago. No? Pero ganun pa man, di ba? Even my daughter, whether it's Nathan or my daughter, I'm not comparing them. You know, ang pagkakaiba kasi, if I ask Nathan, Nathan, sabi ko, you need money? If my daughter would come to me, Papa, grabe, we're gonna have, uh, an, uh, we're gonna go out. My friends and I, we're gonna go to Sky Ranch. Oh, okay. Sabi ko, bye. No, I need money. <laughs> sabi ko, how much? 500. Okay, sisa ba? Adit, may, may pinatago ka ba? 500, I said, why 500? Siyempre, sabi niya, entrance is 295. That will be the rides. Tapos, we'll eat lunch pa. Ang daming computation, no? Sabi ko, parang BIR, ah. No? Pagkakaiba kay Nathan, I ask. I'm not comparing. I'm not saying the other one is better than the other. But the son would come and say, you have money? Tanong niya sa akin, you have barya? Sabi ko, bakit? Oh, you need barya, no? Pamasahe only. You have money pa? Yes, I have money pa. Napapagod akong magtanong, you have money? Lagi sagot niya, I have money pa. Basta, sabi ko sana lahat ng anak ganito, no? Pag tinanong mo, I have money pa. You need money? No. I have enough. Tapos pag humingi, barrio only. Why? Pamasahe sa jeep. Nakakatuwa. Di ba? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, hindi ka na nakakatuwa. Ha? Hingi ka na hingi. Right? Now, my point is this. My point is this. Point of analogy. Is Nathan better than Aliyah or Aliyah better than Nathan or vice versa? Do I love the other because the other is doing better than the other one? No. I love them both. Right? If, if Nathan will ask me for 500, I'll give him 500. Diba? Tama? And I'll say, yes, uh, go, go to mommy, ask 500. <laughs> right? Tama? Go to the second Holy Spirit. She, she asked the 500. But my point is this. Right? Ang ibig sabihin, sa Panginoon, alam ng Panginoon na pangangailangan mo. In fact, just like me, a father asking my son, do you need money? Because I know he would need money. Right? And minsan kahit sinabi niyang, yes, I have pa, bibigyan ko pa rin, sabi ko, just in case. Sabi mo sa Panginoon, alam mo ba, ang Panginoon, meron palaging just in case para sa'yo? Ha, sunny boy? Hindi ba? Kahit na kung saan ka nagmumutor, hindi mo ako sinasama. Ha? Makuha ka sa isang tingin. Right? Tama? Look at Ecclesiastes. Everybody, the wisest king, King Solomon said this. Everybody go. 
I denied myself nothing my eyes desired. Nako, eto na. Ito, mahilig mag-window shopping. I denied myself nothing that I desired. Ang matindi kay Solomon, may pang shopping. Marami sa atin, window lang, walang shopping. Okay, sabi niya, I refuse my heart, no? Pleasure, sabi niya, my heart took delight in all my labor and this was the reward for all my toil. Sabi niya, in short, talagang binigay ko sa todo, binili ko lahat ng pwede kong bilhin, lahat ng gusto kong makita, kinuha ako. Eh talaga naman, kung titignan niyo ang record, si Solomon, okay, sabi niya, has over a thousand concubines. Eh kahit nangalibutan niya ng isang araw, bawat isa eh. 365 days. Diba? Dalawang taon pa ang dadaan bago kanya dalawin. Kung sisipingan niya ang bawat isa ng everyday. Pero ano ba naman ang thousand concubines? Hindi talaga nitong si Solomon, no? Sabi niya, I denied myself nothing. Pero tingnan, na, pakinggan natin. Yet, everybody read aloud. Yet, when I surveyed all that my hands had done, No, and what I had toiled to achieve, everything was what? Yeah. Say again. Yeah. Sabi niya, and it's chasing after the wind. Nothing was gained under the sun. Yun ang masaklat. Di ba? Kinuha mo na lahat. Nasa iyo na lahat. Pero bandang huli, empty ka pa rin. And I think the good one of the greatest French mathematician named Blaise Pascal put it in the exact words. I mean, there is that God-made vacuum within a man that no one can feel except God. Amen? So kung titignan po natin dito mga kapatid sa Panginoon, sabi niya, everything was meaningless. So ang tanong ngayon, kung lahat naman pala sa bandang huli, wala talagang saysay, then what is this world for? The good news is, kaya nga, we are not of this world. This is just a staging point because the Lord is preparing for us, JR, a better place. Huwag ka maglalatol, yung panaginip mo, na nagdadrive ka ng bus, matutupad sa langit. Kasi si JR daw na naginip, nagdadrive siya ng bus. Can you imagine, Klux, nagdadrive siya ng bus sa expressway pa. Kaya lang sabi niya, pagkakaiba ng bus, wala siyang windshield. Kasi may tungkod sa kinakapaan niya yung kanyo. Okay talaga ito si Jer. Hindi ko alam kung nang lolo ko. Okay, let's, let's talk about this. What does it mean chasing after the wing? Meaningless search or pointless, no? Sabi niya, sabi ni Solomon, wisdom, you know, there's just more wisdom, you know, more sorrow. Pleasure, pleasure is empty. Sabi niya, wealth, material possessions, all of them are empty. Solomon was the most powerful guy back in his time. But again, even the temple he built was reduced to rubble. We don't even know where it is today. Diba? So, kung titignan po natin dito, what's the point? No? Sabi niya, all you gain, you lose, and only amounts to what? To emptiness. So kung yung ginagawa natin ngayon, bandang huli, it's just going to be temporary and amounts to emptiness, then tanong, why pursue it? Why are we, kumbaga, inuubos natin, ginugugol natin, parang it's so ironic, no? People today, they lose, no? Sabi niya, their health to gain money. And later on, only to lose their money to gain back their health. Diba? Diba? Yung mga kabataan ngayon, gustong-gustong sana tumanda na ako, 18 na ako para, you know, mag-mature na, right? Gusto na mag-mature, 11 pa lang, yan, nagme-make up na, wala masama, you know. Talagang rumarampa na si, you know, parang nag- may nakikita ako mga bata sa social media, ano? Yan lang ko itong batang ito, mga 11-year-old pa lang, pero pag mag-dress up o um- um- marte, kala mo, adult, no? Now, yung bata gustong tumanda, pero yung mga matatanda naman, gustong pumata. Di ba? Come on. No? I mean, it's the irony of ironies because in the end, what you pursue in this world, as Solomon says, no? Hear ye, hear ye, sabi niya sa kanyang 
no? Conclusion, you know, in his Ecclesiastes writing, sabi niya, he, 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 the conclusion of the whole matter, obey God, keep His commandment, that is the whole duty of man. Okay? So, even Timothy, you know, was kind of encouraged by Paul, na sabi ni Paul kay Timothy, command those who are rich. Sino yung mga rich dito? Taas ng kamay. Ay, wala. I think I'm in the wrong church. Sino mga rich? Pastor, malapit na. O, oh, itaas mo kamay mo, di ba? Di ba? Sabi nito, command those who are rich in this present world. Kailan? Present? Kailan? Saan yun? Ngayon, dito. Those who are rich in this present world do not be arrogant. Ang mayabang. Nor to put your hope in wealth. Right? Which is, oh, eh, kung wealth pala in the end is uncertain, ba't doon ka nagtitiwala? Right? Hindi ko sinasabing huwag kayong umaman. Please, by all means, magpakayaman tayo. Kailangan natin ng ministry support. Right? We need all the support we can get. Right? Because we need to kind of reach out this world. Right? Pero ang tanong ko, huwag kayong magtitiwala sa yaman ninyo. Parang isang disciple na kausap ko, sabi niya, Pastor, tama ka in the end. Eh. Ang kulit ko kasi. Tinabi mo na sa akin noong una, ginawa ko pa rin. So I lose, you know, six figures. Sabi niya, tapos alam ko lang ganun, para makabawi ako, ginawa ko ulit. Eh sinabi mo na ulit sa akin. I lost another six figures. So sabi ko sa kanya, di ba ang mahal maging tanga? Amen? How sino niniwala na yung mahal ang tuition pinangkamangmangan niya? Tama? Hey, educate yourself. I mean, you don't come to church, you know, simply to listen to the Word of God. It's very educational. It's very empowering to come to church. Amen po ba? Kaya nga ang sabi dito, do not be putting your trust on the riches, which is so uncertain, but to put your hope in God. Why? Who? Tumatindi. Mayaman ka na, pagyayamanin ka pa. Kaya pag yung yaman ay nagmula sa Panginoon, no? yayamanin ka talaga. Pero pag yung yaman, suhol ng kaaway, yayabangin ka talaga. Kaya iba yung yayamanin, iba yung yayabangin eh. Di ba? Nakakita na lang kayo ng ganun. Nakisakay lang sa kotse, feeling siya may ari ng kotse. No? Right? No? Parang yung kalabaw, di ba? No, sa kayong langaw, sabi niya, may, may mga iba, pag nakatungtong lang sa kalabaw, parang langaw eh. No? Pag tumungtong yung langaw sa kalabaw, kala mo, mataas pa sa kalabaw. Ang problema, yung kalabaw, pag namatay nila langaw, yung langaw, pag namatay, hindi naman kakalabawin. Nakakita na ba kayo ng kal- langaw na kinalabaw? Wala. Right? So look at this. At the end of the day, sabi niya, do not put your trust in wealth. No? Hindi, hindi siya sinabing do not gain wealth. Ang sabi niya, huwag kang magtiwala. Kasi anytime yung meron ka, maaring mawala. Di ba? Tama ba? No, I'm not, I'm not offending anyone. But I know a lot of people that lost a lot of money in bitcoins. Di ba? So they invested in bitcoins to have money. Now, neither the bit or the coin is there. Because the companies they invested onto Just belly it up. There's no assurance. Amen ba? Pero sabi niya kay God, when you put your trust in God, so verse 18, lahat tayo, command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds, and to be generous to share. Wow. Wow. Nasa kamay. Okay? Nung mga generous. When was the last time you were generous? Ano sabi ko? What is generosity? Generosity is not giving something to someone who needs it. Generosity is even giving to someone something that you need more. Ibig sabihin, mas kailangan ko to, pero alam mo, bibigay ko na lang sa'yo. Di ba? Come on. Generosity is giving with the heart of God. Well, think about giving with the heart of God. So, anyway, Don't worry. This is, this is just the introduction. Because this is not really the point of the discussion. No? 
Ang gusto ko lang bigyan natin ng pansin muna is understand what it means to truly gain something of value for value. Diba? Baka kasi yung mga bagay na pinahalagahan natin, bandang huli, walang halaga. No? Uh, back in the day, prior to the, you know, kumbaga infrastructure, golden age ng Philippines, prior to the bill, bill, bill today, back in the day of Marcos, he printed bills that has a very unique ano, kumbaga, marking doon, na nakalagay doon, eh, bagong lipunan. Right? Sino yung inabutan nyo yan? Sino yung inabutan nyo yan? Na kumakanta kayo na habang kumakain kayo ng Nutriban, eh, may bagong si... Gano'n, no? Inabutan nyo yan? Diba? Okay naman, okay naman, di ba? Pero may pera no, no? May mga businessmen na talagang nag-imbak ng pera. Di ba? Pero after the EDSA revolution, tita Aida, yung mga baul-baul nilang perang may bagong lipunan. Wala nang halaga. Come on. ba? Diba? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, yung bang pinanghahawakan mo ngayon, may halaga pa. Because, take caution. Okay? More is not always better and bigger is not always greater. ba? Diba? Ulitin ko. More is not always better and bigger is always greater. Di ba? Hindi maganda yan pag tumor yan. If you have more and you have bigger. Come on. Pero maganda yan pag pagmamahal. If you have more love, you have big love. Huh? Kaya, kaya alamin natin kung saan dapat. Okay, punta tayo sa pinaka-main text natin ngayon. Because this is where I'm gonna really push more, okay? Let's put aside the introduction for that thing because that will be our point of discussion for the next couple of weeks. Let's go on for the first thing, okay? Yung area of gratitude and attitude kasi only people who are really truly grateful would really be giving their best. Now, basahin natin to. Everybody go. Now, on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled alone, okay, Okay, so along rather the border between and again, Samaria and Galilee. And he, as he was going into the village, or a village, sabi niya, ten? Ilan? Ten. Ten men who had leprosy met him. Okay, now, stop, stop, stop. Let me just give you something. Okay, back in the day, yung mga lepros, okay, those who are lepros, they are not allowed to stay in the city. They are they are actually outside the city gates. Okay? Kasi nakakahawa eh. Kaya ang ginagawa, yung mga relatives na Tita Aida, no? wala, silang, wala, silang, ano, no? wala silang tala, no? parang gano'n, no? na isang leprosarium. Wala, nandun lang sila sa labas ng city at kung sinong gusto magbigay ng pagkain sa kaso, they're walking dead. Hindi ito yung pelikula, ha? hindi ito yung TV series, no? Tito Tess. Yung, they're literally walking dead kasi you know, ang isang taong may leprus, or leprosy, I should say, you know, hindi niya alam na nagtanggal na yung tenga niya. Wala siyang sense of pain. Alam niyo yan? No? So, minsan, nagkakamot ng tenga, mamaya, ay, tenga ko pala to. Parang ganun, no? Diba? Suminga siya, ay, yung ilong ko. Ganun, no? Kasi naaagnas eh. No? So, kadiri, no? Ganun. So, they are considered as outcast. Kaya, when Jesus was walking, man, come on. Ten, buti nga kung isa lang eh. Sampo. Di ba? Met him. In short, talagang kinorner siya. Doon ka, di ka, para hindi maka, maka, makalabas si, makalampas si Jesus, right? Met him. Sabi niya ito, and they stood at a distance. Okay? Malayo pa siya, okay? And called out in a loud voice, Jesus! Master! Have pity on us. Ano? Sabi niya dito, ano? When he saw them, he said, Go! <laughs> Go show yourself to the priest. And as they were going, they were cleansed. Wow, well, I mean, hindi pa nga hinihipo ni Lord eh. Nung panahon kasi na yun, no? No, Tita Klux. You know, if you're a leper, and then magaling ka na, what you will do in order to re-enter the community, Tita Norma, you have to go to the priest. And titignan nila yung kalalagayan mo kung, ah, okay ka na, magaling ka na. Sige, pwede ka na bumalik. Pero ito baligtad eh. Hindi pa sila gumagaling. 
Are you with me? Dila, look, look, look at the element of faith there, right? Malayo pa sila, sabi nila, alam na ni Lord yung tatanungin eh. Sabi lang naman nila, have mercy on us. Kaawaan mo kami. Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, go. Sinabi, na, sinabi pa nilang, heal us. Heal us. May sinabi sila, Lord Jesus, have mercy. Pagkalingin mo naman. Sinabi man nila yun, Tita Bell? Wala. Men, wala pa silang sinasabi. Sinagot na ni Lord. Pakita kayo doon sa priest. Wow, ang galing, ano? Tama? And sabi doon, as they are going, as they went, what happened? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, your breakthrough is on the way. Di ba? Huwag mong hintayin. Habulin mo. Hindi, yeah. pastor, pag okay na lahat, when market condition is right, when opportunity is right, then I will. E ito na nga yun eh. Anyone who meets Jesus, that is the right time. So anybody who is in this year, whether you're new, kahapon ka lang, ngayon ka lang, man, this is your opportunity. Your breakthrough is now. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Hindi bukas. Di ba? Sa dinami-dami, ikaw pa. Di ba? Hindi, in-invite lang naman ako ng kakilala ko. Hindi, yung kakilala mo, hinipo ng Diyos para inviting ka. Okay, hindi pa ito nagtatapos kasi may importante, first half lang yon, di ba? Alam niyo minsan, sa sobrang excitement natin, nakakalimutan natin magpasalamat. Tinan niyo to. One of them, when he saw, he was in, bantakin mo tita Aida, no? Ang sarap siguro nun, papunta pa lang ako sa church, papunta pa lang akong Leonard Wood Road, habang naglalakad ako, ba kumikinis? Dahan-dahan. No? Habang, habang I am on my way, <laughs> Di ba gano'n, no? Ba, dati yung daliri ko, buto na lang. Bakit nagkalaman? Woo! Di ba, dati yung pisngi ko, walang, di ba? Ngayon, kutis bata. Di ba? Woo! Right? Parang gano'n yung nangyari. Actually, gano'n ang nangyari. As they are going, hindi pa nga sila nakarating sa priest. Diba? They simply obey. You see, this is what happened when you meet Jesus and you obey. And what happens? Sabi to, one of them, when he saw, he was healed. Anong ginawa? Bumalik. Bakit bumalik? This, this can't be true. Hindi. Bumalik siya kasi naalala niyo, Lord, kami. So, tinagal-tagal. Nainom ko na lahat ng antibiotic. Right? Lahat ng lotion. Lord. Diba? Nagluta na ako. Diba? Tama? Pati yung shell guard, binanatan ko na yung pang-aso, Lord. Whew! Labi, kulang sa palakpak. Parang... <laughs> Tignan ito. Anong ginawa niya? He threw himself to the Lord. He came down to the Lord. And siguro nagulat si Lord. Diba? Sabi ko pumunta ka doon. Pero bumalik. Tapos talagang lumuhod sa harap na He threw himself to the Lord, right? In, in Hebrew, that's proskut, I mean, that's shabak. No? To lie prostate. To lie prostate. Right? So, ano sabi niyan? He threw himself to Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. I know, the Samaritan actually doesn't have a very good relationship with Jews. In fact, Samaritans and Jewish people do not talk. Right? We'll t- study that some other day. Right? And matakin mo siya yung lumapit. In short, in, short, in short, outsider na siya kasi leprous siya. Outsider pa siya societally. Diba? Kasi ang tawag ng mga Jew sa Samaritan, dogs. Ibig sabihin talagang they are racially discriminated. Pero baliktad, kung sino pa yung discriminated, kung sino pa yung hindi dapat nagpapasalamat, siya yung nagpasalamat. Kaya tinan nyo ang tanong ng Panginoon. He was a Samaritan. Sabi niya, sabi niya, we're not all of you. Or, sabi niya, we're not all ten cleansed. Di ba lahat kayo gumaling? Nasaan yung siyam? Nakakainis, no? Ibig sabihin, no, sa cento por ciento, no, just por ciento na nga magpapasalamat. 
Nakakain means. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, kasama ka ba sa 10? No, ano ka? 9 o 1? Di ba? Ang daming pumupunta sa church, pre. Sinagot na ni Lord ang prayer. Pumasa sa board exam. Pagkapasa sa board exam, pag bago pa mag-exam, nagpapapray. Nung pumasa, hindi bumalik. Pukukis ni kamatis. Di ba? Tama nung estudyante, panay ang papray, panay ang tamay sa church. Nung engineer na, hindi mo makita. Mga hinayupak na walang utang na loob, di ba? Now I'm just being personal, guys. Come on. Pag may kailangan ka, lalapit ka sa Diyos. Pag napagaling ka na, ni Anino mo, hindi makita eh. Sabi ng Panginoon, di ba, sampu kayo? Nasaan yung siyam? Has, sabi niya, no one return to give praise except this foreigner, kung sino pa yung hindi ko inaasahan. Sana yung mga pastor? Bible school, Bible school, asa na? Talon ng talon pag worship service. Di ba? Come on. Pagdating ng ayusan ng upuan, wala na. Bakit? Nasaan na? Parang tahimik yata. <laughs> Then he said to him, Rise and go. Your faith has made you well. Grabe. Anong ito? Ibig sabihin, yung totoong may pananampalataya, hindi malat nakatanggap ka ng pagpapala. May pananampalataya. Ang totoong may pananampalataya, yung bumabalik. Papasalamat. Amen? Amen ba? Amen ba? Three things. Very quickly. Now everybody is given a ready opportunity. It's not you. It's not me. It's the Lord. Ang Diyos ang nagbibigay ng opportunity. JR. Kising ka pa, JR. Yeah. Tumugtog ka lang, JR, kung feel mo, ha? Kasi itong mga nasa likod natin, yan. Lagyan mo ng background, para masaya. Para feeling ko ako si Stephen Furtick. Okay? Already opportunity. When we see already opportunity, lahat tayo binigyan si JR. May opportunity ang kakaiba. Alam niyo ba, unang-una kaming nag-meet ni JR is, you know, he was brought to the church. Ang sabi sa akin, Pastor, yeah. no? dito na ako. Sabi, talagang hindi namin alam kung paano pagda. Pero no, bumaba ulit si JR ng Manila, bumalik siya. Hanggang nagkita ulit kami sa isang napakatinding message niya sa akin sa Facebook. Alam niyo yung message niya sa akin sa Facebook? Pass. Tapos tuldok, tuldok, tuldok. Yun na yun. But right there and then, the Lord guy and I just gripped my heart. And I told him, sumudito. I just have to step in faith. Right? Nakakainis kay JR mula nun, hindi na umalis. And you know, this brother is It's a, a real blessing. His handicap is not a hindrance to him. Diba? Diba? May opportunity siya ngayong hapon, pero sabi niya, titignan ko na lang kung hindi makakahinder. Rinawa, ganun palagi, JR. No? Sana lagi ka may tama. No? May tama kay Lord. Already opportunity one. The Lord has set for each one ano, a passing opportunity waiting to be? Now, tinan nyo ha, passing opportunity. Ano ibig sabihin, Tita Aida? Pag hindi mo kinuha, mawawala. Right? Pag binigyan ka ni Lord ng opportunity ngayon, pag hindi mo kinuha yon, ibibigyan niya sa iba. Kung hindi, mamimiss out mo yung opportunity mo and you cannot come back to it. Maybe you can, but time has lapsed. Amen? Now, look at this. As he was going into a village. Now, sino ba talaga ang pinuntahan ni Lord doon? Yung bang leper? Hindi, nadaanan lang niya eh. 
Kala alam mo, kahit sapit ka lang sa plano ni Lord, blessed ka pa rin eh. Di ba? Ikaw ba yung ipinunta ko dyan sa church? Hindi naman. Kaya wag niyong isipin, Pastor, bira ako yung tinutukoy mo sa preaching ko. Namimersonal ka na talaga. Brother, napaka-bless mo naman. Handa ko yung preaching para lang sa'yo. Di ba? Di ba inisip yun? Inisip ko talaga dapat ganito. Ganito yung sasabihin ko para tamaan si J.R. Napaka-bless mo naman. Ikaw lang ang gustong paringgan ng Holy Spirit, no? Pero hindi lahat tayo eh. Look at this, sabi niya ito, as he was going into a village, ten men. The, the ten men had equal needs. Pero ito nga yung problema, laging nakakarami yung totoo eh. In short, yung siyam, ginamit lang si Lord. Is it accurate to say that? Bakit? Kasi nung nakuha na nila yung gusto nila, wala na sila. Right? And, and, and look at this, my, my friends in the Lord. Sabi niya, no? And sabi niya, you know, at a distance, no? And called out when he saw them, anong ginawa ni Lord? Go! Go show na kaagad. Grabe, parang alam mo kung magtatanong ka, Tita Aida, Lord, hindi pa ako gumagaling. Ba't ako pupunta sa priest? Hindi mo pa ako pinagaling. Pagalingin mo muna ako. Anong ibig sabihin ito? May mga pagkakataon na pag hinahamon ka ng Panginoon, hindi niya muna ipapakita sa iyo yung katugunan, hahamunin ka muna niyang tumawid. At habang tumatawid ka, o oh, sige, ayan na, kunin niyo yan, binigay ko ng opportunity. Lord, saan yung pambayad? Basta kunin niyo na muna. Isusunod ko yung pambayad. Kasi hindi naman kayo magpabayad, si Lord naman eh. Di ba? Alam niyo sa bahay namin, hindi tatanungin ng asawa ko kung may pambayad ako. Basta sasabihin niya, ayan, bilang ilaw, bilang tubig, deadline niya sa 23 ha. Ngayon yung tatanungin, saan mo kukunin? Han? Di mo ba inisip saan kukukunin yung pwera? Di ba? Eh syempre, pag sinabi niya sa akin yun, sasabihin ko rin, Lord, wala pang padala. Sino kaya, Lord, ang ipapadala mo? Sabi ni Lord, magbayad ka, problema ko yung pambayad. Di ba? Di ba? Awa ng Diyos, bayad naman lahat. Tatawagan ako ng credit card company. Sir, ang ganda ho ng credit limit ni ah, ng record ninyo. Saka malaki-laki na yung credit. Baka may gusto ko kayong ipagawa. Baka gusto niyo mag-loan. Sabi niya, baka gusto niyo rin yung bayaran. Yung mga ibang cards niyo na hindi nababayaran. Kami na po magbabayad. Napakababa lang po ng interest. Sabi ko sa kanya, ba't naman ako magi interest kung babayaran ko ng cards? Di sir, sa April mo pa ito babayaran. Sabi ko, pareho din. Kasi kahit na sa April, utang pa rin yan. Amen ba? Buti na lang ang Panginoon on time. Di ba? Pagkailangan mo magbibigay siya. Right? Kung hindi kayo magpapagamit, nagpapagamit ang iba. Right? Come on. And look at this. Sabi niya, go and show yourself. Sabi niya, look at this. This is what I call seizing the moment. When the Lord gives you a window of opportunity, huwag mo nang tanungin, should I go? Should I not? Alam niyo yung mga karpintero ko, tumuktok. Yung mga yun naaalala ko pag wala silang gagawin, dita Aida eh. Kasi two years ago ko pa sinasabi sa kanila, gawin niyo na yung bubong ko, tumutulo eh. Sabi niya, sige pastor, i-schedule namin. Tuwing i-schedule, na yung schedule last year ng summer, hindi nagawa. Sabi nila, pagbalik mo lang galing ng Amerika. Tapos pagbalik ko galing Amerika, sabi niya, wala sigurong pera si pastor kasi gumaling ng Amerika, may ginastos. Pastor, next year na lang. Kasi actually, kaya nila ginagawa yun, Sister Bell, kasi meron silang mga ginagawa. No? Ngayon, wala silang gagawin. Naalala nila ako. Panakit butas lang. Di ba? So, punta sila, sabi ng pastor. Sabi niya, oh, kumusta? Libre kami ngayon. Baka yung maipagagawa ka. Sabi ko, sana nga, yung bubong sana, ipapagawa ko kasi tumutulo. Sabi nila, oh, sige, gawin natin. Ano, gawin na natin? Magkano? Mura lang, pas. Labor material. 130. So, kukuha ng 130. 30 nga. Pahiyakan pa, di ba? Tama, di ba? Tapos inisip ko, naku, magbabayad pa ako ng kotse, magkano? Kinumpute ko, tita Aida, it does not compute. <laughs> 
<laughs> diba? Diba? Alam nyo maganda sa church natin? We will give you allowance according to the availability of funds. Parang gano'n, no? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Grabe. Kaya sabi ko, ah, ah, pag may pambayad na ang church, bigla akong magbibitch kasi grabe. Malaki-laki rin yung back, lagi yung back wages ko. Di ba? Di tayo na, no? Grabe. Thank you, Lord. Sabi ko, grabe. Di. Sabi na, sige, pastor, gawin natin. Sabi ko, uh, uh, inisip ko naman, pag hindi ko pa ipinagawa ito, baka taon na naman. Tapos binanatan ba naman ako, tita Aida, ng pastor, ikaw naman, kung loon nga, nagawa mo, milyon yung bahay mo, nagawa mo ng wala ang pera, ngayon pa, bubong la. Alam niyo kung mangusap si Lord minsan, kakaiba eh. Sabi ko, hinahamon ako ng pananampalataya nito ah. Di ba? O sige, sabi ko, kumpitin mo, yung talagang computation. Ito, isama mo to, isama mo to. Saka, lagyan mo na rin ang banyo, ha? Lagyan mo ang banyo. O sige, pastor, compute. Mahal, grabe ito, matawag. Pastor, kinausap ko na yung welder. Uh, okay na lahat. Sabi niya, kaya lang, yun ang problema. Ito yung inihingi. Lahat-lahat, materialist labor, aabot ng 280. Sabi ko, kanina, 120, 130 lang eh. 180. Buti na lang nagbibigay kami sa Panginoon. Di ba? Sabi ko, bawasan naman ninyo. Baka pwedeng bawasan. O sige, pastor, kakausapin ko. Pastor, sagaran, 230 daw. Naku, parang isang daan pa rin yung naidagdag. Di ba? Di ba? Pag naman sinabi mo sa asawa mo, Mami, pera ka ba dyan? I'll pray. <laughs> Di ba? <laughs> <laughs> Diyos ko. Diba? Pero siya nagsasabi, pag pinagawa mo, pagawa mo na rin to, Pagawa mo rin yan. Tsaka yung ano, dapat ganito na. Sa loob ko. Ay, nangadyo ko aratam. <laughs> ano ba? So, naiipit ako between God and my... Tapos may mga nagdidimanda, Papa, ito, pagawa mo. Okay lang kayo. Nakadrugs ba kayo? ba? Diba? But anyway, long story short, we commenced. ba? Diba? Hindi ko alam. Basta at some point in time, God guaranteed. So, when I know, Lord, you guarantee, bahala ako. Alam niyo po ba yung pinapagawa ko? Bayad na. Wala akong kinuhang loan. No? Buti na lang ang dami nagpapakasal, no? <laughs> Tita Aida. <laughs> diba? Ipon ako ng ipon. Tinatabi ko lang. Tights, ipon. Tights, ipon. Tights na kayo, ipon. Diba? Tapos sinignan ko, nako patay yung bayarin ko pala sa kotse. Naka-auto-debit yun eh. Tita Aida, five months akong advance. Di ba? Hanggit kayo, no? <laughs> Hindi kayo pumapalakpak eh. <laughs> Now, I'm not preaching you prosperity gospel. Don't get me wrong. Right? I'm not a theologian for nothing. I'm simply telling you the power of gratitude. Every morning, yan, bukod kami mag I will wake up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the provision today. Hindi ko pa nakikita, Lord, pero para yung leper, punta na ako. Yeah? Tapos nung nakausap ko si Bishop Oriel nung itang ano, ganun na ganun, parehong pareho yung, yung, ano, yung impression. Bro, alam mo, tinuturoan tayo ni Lord. Amen. Dito mahimik na ako kasi alam ko nangungusap ang Diyos eh. Church, nangungusap ang Diyos. May gusto siyang ituro sa'yo. Are you willing to step up? Gateway people, are you willing to go beyond the usual? Kasi kung titignan po natin dito mga kapatid sa Panginoon, napakalaga sa niya, and as they went. Tingnan nyo ha, as they went, hindi nila hinintay na bu- ma- buo muna, JR. Hindi hinintay na meron muna. Hindi... Humayo na sila. Pag alam nyo ang Diyos ang talagang nagpapaanyaya, huwag kayong matakot. Go ahead. Siguraduhin nyo lang, ang Panginoon ang napakinggan nyo. Amen? Hindi yung inggit ninyo. ba? Diba? Hindi yung pagnanais ninyong magkaroon. Pero you know, it is what God wants to do. Because everything begins to shift for the better when one heeds. Okay? with confident anticipation. Alam ko, 
ibibigay ni Lord. Amen? Huwag niyong problemahin, sabi ko nga yung bayarin eh. Huwag problemahin niyo yung pambayad. Pero kung kayo okay kayo ni Lord, the Lord gives you the ability to produce wealth. Amen? Amen? Tama po ba? So kung titignan po natin, fullness. When we talk about fullness, we talk about satisfaction. ba? Diba? We talk about Lord, ba? Diba? kung ano man ang meron, salamat pa rin. Kung tuyo, di tuyo. Diba? Amen ba? Basta magpapasalamat pa rin ako. Alam nyo, paglitsyo ng ulam, ang haba ng panalangin natin. To the Lord of heaven and earth, the possessor of everything that is good. Lord, thank you because you are the one who blesses us even when we sleep. Pagtuyo lang ang ulam. Lord, apay nga eh. Diba? Right? Pasalamat ka pa rin. Thank you, Lord. Di ba? Kung masama ang pinagdadaanan mo ngayon, may pinagdadaanan ka lang. Hindi permanente yun. Dadaanan mo rin. Amen? Amen? Tama? Alam mo, ginaganahan ako kasi yung misis ko, panayan tama. 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 Di ba? Jesus answered everyone. Sabi niya, who, sabi niya no, everyone who drinks the water no, will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water that I get will never thirst. Oh, di ba? Ang sarap. Amen? Di ba? Alam niyo parang pinapagawa ko. Alam niyo pag may pinapagawa kayo, wala ang Panginoon. May kong konsumi kayo. Kahit may pera kayo. Kasi nagbayad kayo ng tama, tapos ang ginawa pangin. Ang nakakatuwa doon sa mga karpintero ko ngayon, sa welder ko. Sabi ko, hunting na mong gumawa ko. Alinis. Kasi may background ako ng construction, alam ko magpatakbo, di ba? Sabi nila, Kuya Dodo, yung ganda, linis. Amen? Hindi ka lang dadagyan ng Lord ng blessings. Ihahatid niya yung tamang blessing. Amen? Okay. So, again, no? Kung titignan po natin dito, sabi niya, we have the worldly source, but we have the divine source. Amen? So, secondly, Apart from that, is the realized obligation. Kita nyo ha? Yung siyam, nakalimutan niya. Sunny boy. Tignan nyo to, di ba? Yung mga bata. Bata pa kayo, no? May anak kayo. Pag may yung anak nyo, binigyan ng ninong niya ng anaginaldo. Ano, anong sabi ng nanay sa anak? Say thank you ah. Di ba? Ibig sabihin, tama lang na magpasalamat pag kayo nakatanggap. Eh sa atin, minsan nakatanggap tayo, imbis na thank you, ito lang. Hindi ba? Nagreklamo ka pa. Right? Kung titignan natin ito, sabi niya, a realized obligation, sabi niya, a taste of the Lord's goodness compels one, okay, to respond in gratitude. How will you respond if you know that you have eternal life? Diyar, no? Ang excitement natin, no? Dito lang sa lupa, malabo ang mata natin. Di ba? Pagdating natin sa panahon na we get to see God face to face, 2020 vision. Amen? The redemption of the physical corruptible body to something that is incorruptible. Di ba? Kaya, wow, rep, masalap ka. Tama ba? The other day, hindi ko pa rin ma-process. Of course, many of you know that already. I was sitting on the boardroom the other day. And I was still asking myself, Lord, why did you bring me here? Because wala akong ibang maisip eh. Bakit ako nandoon? Right? No? So the other night, the mayor texted me and said, Dr. Sol, thank you for helping the people of Baguio and Benguet. Pero behind me, parang dati-dati, mm, God. Pero ngayon is humbling eh, Lord. Who am I? Diba? That you would see me a catalyst in my generation. Amen? Why? Because promotion belongs to the Lord. Huwag mong aakuin. Ang galing ko talaga. Hindi. Lalong nakakahambol eh. Diba? Nung unang punta ko dun, sabi, naka-letter jacket lang ako. Tapos, mukha lang akong ano, sanggan. Oh. Diba? Hindi ko alam, o-taking pala. 
Piyagiya ako sa mga asama ko, naka-coat and tie. Kaya yung next na board meeting ba, nag- may Amerikanan naman ako eh. Di ba? Kaya ito practice pag maganda to sa, pag nakita ko maganda sa camera. Susuot ko ulit sa Wednesday, di ba? But what I'm trying to say, hey, it's obligatory. It's, it's upon you. It's hindi, hindi ka inuobliga ni Lord, pero ikaw ang umuobliga sa sarili mo. Parang si David, sabi ni David, Lord, I will not give you something that which does not cost me. Hindi ako maghahain sa iyo, Lord, ng tira-tira. Hindi ako magbibigay sa iyo, Lord, na hindi ako nagsakripisyo, na hindi ko pinaghirapan. Pag ibibigay ko sa iyo, parang yung babaeng pinatawad ng Panginoong Yesus, yung kinita niya ng isang taon, e binili niya ng pabango, tapos pinanghugas lang niya sa paanan ni Yesus. Come on! When was the last time you gave something that is truly her head turning, maybe not before the people because they don't know, but before God. Yung bang nung nagbigay si Dayan, napaligon si Lord. Oh, but hindi nung pinigay ni Dayan, ha? Diba? Hindi yung, alam mo yung binigay ni Sol, yan lang. Alam niyo yun? Diba? Misan yung apo ko lalapit sa akin, may, may hawak-hawak na Pringles, no? Yung kakapirasong potato chips, ha? May hawak siya, mga anim na stack na ganun. Tapos saling ka, give lolo. Puputulin niya pa yun. <laughs> Nakatik looks na. Tapos susubo niya sa akin. Sisiguraduhin niya pang isusubo ko. Tapos sabihin ko, thank you. Nakalimutan niya sa akin galing. <laughs> Yan sa atin minsan ganun. Pinagdadamot natin yung hindi naman sa atin. Pinagdadamot mo yung talent mo, hindi naman sa iyo. Pinagdadamot mo yung kinita mo, ang Diyos naman ang nagbigay mo. Hindi ka napasok ng trabaho kung hindi ka you know, pinangunahan ng Panginoon. Sabi niya, one of them, you know, sabi niya, when he saw, he was healed. Ibig sabihin, pag nakikita mo, pinagpapala ka. Pag nakikita mo yung mga ginagawa ng Panginoon, huwag mong hintay na, Lord, babayaran ko muna lahat ng utang ko. Then, saka ako magtatay. Grabe. Pero bumawi ka na kagad. Amen? Mag-invest ka na kagad. Because you are, you are not giving to God. I'm not, I'm not gonna exhort you or in offering as if you are giving to God. No, you're, you can never give to God. What you're actually doing is you're partnering with God. You're coming, you're entering into an investment venture. You are planting something for eternity. Yes. Amen ba? Kaya kung titignan po natin dito mga kapatid sa Panginoon sa mga ito, no, He threw Himself at Jesus' feet, thanked Him. Nagpasalamat siya. Alam nyo, pag tayo nagpapasalamat, hindi pwedeng magpasalamat ka ng wala lang. Yung babae nagpasalamat, di ba? Kasi pinatawad ng Panginoon. Yung dapat na assassination na sana niya or execution niya, I should say, na uwi sa kapatawaran. Kaya sabi niya, walang kwenta yung kinita ko. Bibigay ko na lahat kay Lord. Si Sakius, di ba? Sabi niya, Lord, walang pakialam. Kung meron ako nakautangan doon, doblihin ko pa yung bayad. At sa kalahat na kami ko, papamigay ko. Kalahat eh. Bakit? Kasi yung natanggap nila, Tita Norma, higit pa sa meron sila. Amen. Amen. pa natin si Lord. Amen. Amen. So yung, yung leper, wala namang, wala namang ibibigay, wala namang pere. Kaya nga, sinuko ang sarili. Di ba? He threw himself before God. Hindi niya inisip pa kamamaya sa pagbagsak na tumalsik yung kamay niya kasi, di ba? May ketong siya eh. Pero hindi eh. Napagaling ako, Panginoon. <laughs> Dive siya sa harapan ni Jesus eh, di ba? Di ba? Hindi naman sinabi, he fell. He threw himself. Alam niyo ibig sabihin nun? Talagang, talagang nag-dive siya sa harapan ni Lord, no? Di ba? Talagang Panginoon, salamat. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, hindi man ako katanggap-tanggap. ba diba? Samaritan ako unang-una. I'm an outcast. Pero pinatawad mo pa rin ako. Kasi, by the way, let me just add this as a segue. Pag may ketong ka kasi nun, ibig sabihin, matindi ang kasalanan mo. Kaya pag ikaw, napalinis ka na ng ketong mo, tita. No? Sinabi, pumunta ka sa priest. Kasi yung priest ang magsasabi, oh, magaling ka na nga. Ibig sabihin, napatawad na kasalanan mo. Kaya itong ketongin na to just came before God through Himself as a Lord. Amen? 
and a thankful heart is always focusing more on the giver of the vision, not the provision. Diba? Nakita niya, hindi lang ako na pagaling physically, but napatawa din ako spiritually. Sino ang hindi magpapasalamat? Lord, I'm yours. Pero tanong ni Lord, nasan yung iba? Kasi pare-pareho sila ng tinanggap. Amen? Amen? Sana kabilang po tayo doon sa isa. Because at the end of the day, everybody read this. Understanding the depth okay, and value of the blessing we've received, okay, gratitude is the only means to honor. Alam nyo, guys, bibigyan namin kayo ng pagkakataon. Kasi alam nyo, isang gusto namin matutunan natin sa church is to be a grateful church. Not only grateful because we're saying, thank you, Lord. But grateful, just like David, Lord, I will not give you something that which does not cost. Kaya nga, magpa-practice tayo ng this year, no? Pasin mo lang ko na. The second week of February, we will try, you know, to, for the very official time since the pandemic kita, tama ba? We will restore our first fruit giving. Na Lord, at the first, hindi man first month of the year, kasi medyo huli na, but in the first quarter of the year, we will give to you our first fruit. Bahala kayo kung anong conviction nyo. Kung yung sweldo nyo or a piece of what you earned. Basta, ang usapan dito, ito binibigay mong buo sa Panginoon. This could be coming from a business deal that went well. Lord, sa'yo to. Ito, i, 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 tatabi ko to, JR, para kay Lord. No? Amen? Amen ba? Focusing more and partnering with God. Amen? Parang tumahimik, no? Pag-receiving ng breakthrough, amen! Pag-receiving ng... Ah, naluya! Pag... Pers- <laughs> De, pastor, pinagpipray namin. Talagang minemeditate namin, pastor. <laughs> Parang yung radio station lang yan, kailangan pa bang i-memorize. No? Ah, diba? The sad truth. Remember the rich man? Sabi ng Panginoon, I will bless this person. No? Sunny boy, papalain ko tong taong to. Baka pag pinagpala ko at nadobli ang kanyang pagpapala, ang kanyang business, ang kanyang kinita, maalala niya ako. Pero di ba, ano sabi ng rich man? Tomorrow, <laughs> I will build a bigger barn. So that, di ba, imbis na magpasalamat sa Panginoon, magdadagdag pa ako ng business. Magdadagdag pa ako ng bank account. Magdadagdag pa ako, di ba? Imbis na magpasalamat at tumalik, kumayo at nakalimot. Jesus asked, no? we're not all ten cleansed. Right? Tama ba? Nasaan yung iba? Okay? Sabi dyan is, no one returned to give praise. Natinan nyo ha, sabi sa Bible, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. Diba? Anong ibig sabihin? When you go, alam mo ibig sabihin ng thanksgiving in my heart? In the Old Testament, when you go with thanksgiving, may dala kang offering. Diba? You cannot give thanks without bringing an offering. Di tayo na. And sa Old Testament, ang daming offering. Sin offering, peace offering. Diba? First fruit offering. Diba? Come on. Pero, pa, you know, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. At habang daladala ko yung aking gift, yung aking thanksgiving offering, I will enter his courts with praise. Ah, di ba? Di ba ibig sabihin, kalakip tong praise, yung thanksgiving. Paano ka nagpe-praise? Wala kang thanksgiving. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng honoring. The best means to honor God is to offer God something. Right? But of course, you begin with your heart. But understand one thing. One does not get Credit on what they get, but what they leave. Because actually, when we give to the Lord, we're not just giving to be blessed, Tita Aida. We are sowing seeds for the next generation. Diba? So that the Lord may find favor, okay? Diba? May rather, like that, that we may find favor before God. Parang si Job, Job comes every day, no? JR, to offer 
in behalf of his family thanksgiving offering, burnt offering, right? Amen ba? Di ba? Sometimes pag natutuwa yung misis ko, binibigyan niya ako ng burnt offering. Alam niyo yun? Natusta kasi yung pork chop, no? Parang gano'n. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. The the thing is, yung rich man, balikan natin, sabi niya, no, and I'll say, asahin natin, and I'll say to myself, you have plenty of grain laid up for me for many years. Take life easy, eat, drink, and be merry. Di ba? Di ba? Party, party lang pag church. Di ba? Pero anong sabi ng Panginoon? But God said to him, you fool. This very right, no? Time. Sabi niya, your life will be demanded from you. Then you will get what you have ano yan? Prepared for yourself. Yeah. Sige. Pagpatuloy mo. Pag dumating yung panahon, siningil ka ng Diyos. Makapapala mo yung hinahanap mo. Amen ba? Okay? So, ganyan lang. Pa-easy-easy lang. Take life easy. Okay? Party-party lang. Hindi ko sinasabing masama. Pero if you allow your life to just revolve around that thing, You're missing a lot. Finally, the rewarded obedience. Ano to? Sabi niya, the Lord recognizes, okay, those that come before Him with genuine honoring hearts and gratitude. Nakikita ng Panginoon kung totoo ka. Di ba? Kasi pwede naman sabihin ng Panginoon, bumalik ka pa. Di ba? Do you think the Lord knows the heart of the guy? The Lord sees the guy's heart. Kaya nga sabi niya, your fate has made you free. Di ba? And he said to him, rise, go, your fate has made you well. Woo! Di ba? So makita niyo ha, yung word dito, as you go. Di ba? Don't, don't just wait, Kuya Jun, no? Ngayon hindi na, hindi na pwede yung hintay natin ulit. Ito ito, gumanda yung market situation, gumanda yung offering natin, mapuno muna natin to. Yeah, actually, nag-start na tayo. And if all goes well, by next month, we are in a different place. <laughs> Amen? Because your leaders hears from God and we continue to press on. Eh, Pastor, mukhang mas mataas yung renta doon. Ha? Doble, tita Aida, di ba? Doble, persante, doble. No? Tama ba yun? No? Pero, eh, we will go. Because as we go, di ba? God will provide. God will meet us. Amen ba? So mga kapatid sa Panginoon, rise, your faith has made you well. The Lord honors those that honors Him and grant them their due reward. Ebi mo sumay sa katabi mo, you will get what is due you. So if you, you deserve promotion, JR, you'll get it. Di ba? If you deserve advancement, sunny boy, you'll get it. Pero if you need correction, <laughs> you'll get it. Okay. Patigas ang ulo mo, pagpatuloy mo, you'll get it. It's just a matter of time. Di ba? Kung ikaw naman masunurin ka sa Panginoon, anak, you'll get it. Don't worry. In due time. Right? And as you go, understand one thing. Let's end with this. Okay, whatever we are want, uh, no, sabi niya, waiting for, peace of mind, okay, contentment, grace, and the inner awareness of simple, ano yan? Na? Abundance, it will surely come to us, but only when we are ready to receive it with open and grateful hearts. Hallelujah. Yeah. This was taken. <laughs> Yan si Aliyah, no? Ngayon, nandun na si Aliyah o oh, nagsaserve. Amen? Alam nyo, before it's too late. Get right with God. It's not about religion. It's not about, sabi ko nga, it's not about gateway. It's never about it. It's always about Jesus. 
Amen? Why don't we all stand? Ilan po sa atin, ang para tayo yung leper, no? You know, leprosy can be equated to sin, brokenness, you know, scarred life emotionally. And we can cry out to God and seek healing. Amen po ba? At ang Diyos handa mong magbigay ng kagalingan. The Bible says, put your hope in God who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. Alam mo, dumating na ang tagumpay mo. God will give you Blessings that are truly for your enjoyment. Alam niyo ang Panginoon, pag siya nagbigay ng blessing, hindi ka lang matutuwa, mag enjoy ka pa. Amen? Why don't we bow our head? I want you to just look deep. If you have a need this afternoon, hindi mo maintindihan yung pakiramdam mo, marahalin. sometimes you feel lonely, sometimes you feel broken. Sometimes, parang, there's something that you're looking for that seemingly is always falling short. Or maybe your relationship is not doing well. Or maybe something is going in your life that can't be fixed. But I have a good news for you. Remember, with God, nothing is impossible. If you are that person right now, why don't you just raise your hand? You may be a Christian for how long I know. Or maybe you have not met Jesus yet. Just the same, just raise your hand. Say, Lord, I just want to go back to a heart of worship. I want to come to you and seek your forgiveness. I'm going to lift your hand. I'm tired. I had this scar all over my body. Maybe not sin physically, but inside me, Lord, I'm just like a leprous person. Panginoon, kailangan ko ng pagsa, pagpapatawad mo ng iyong kagalingan. Raise your hands. Come on. And while your hands are raised, why don't you pray this prayer with me? Let's pray together. No one prays alone. Lord, come on, just pray it aloud, Lord. Thank you for your great love. This afternoon, I come to you. I ask for your forgiveness. Please cleanse me from all my unrighteousness and forgive me from all my sins. Today I surrender my life to you and with gratitude I praise you. Make me your son or your daughter. I am your child. You are my Father. Come in my life, Lord Jesus. Be my Lord and be my Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, maybe before we, you know, kind of just sit down for a while, let me know. It's like that leper guy. Hindi po siya pumayag na hindi bumalik at magpasalamat. And you know, alam nyo, sabi nga ni Bishop Frank, alam nyo, dapat hindi na tayo pinapaalalahanan bakit tayo nagbibigay. But I'd like you to come every week rejoicing, coming back just like that leper, wanting to give thanks. So this afternoon, before we just close in a word of prayer, why don't we have the opportunity to just give our loving gifts to the Lord? And as I've said, continue to pray whatever it is that God will convict you for your first fruit offering, whatever that may be, prepare your hearts. We're going to do that on the second week of February. But today, we're going to give our offering and our tithe, and we will give rejoicing. Amen? So, Lord, tanggapin mo po ang aming mga handog, at pagkabigay po namin to, bindisyonan mo po, at gamitin mo sa ikakalawak ng iyong kaharian. Bigyan mo po ng talino ang mga mamamahala at mga ngasiwa ng mga kayamanan ito. 
para magamit ng mainam at magbibigay puri sa iyo. Bindisyonan mo rin ng siksik, liglig at umaapaw ang bawat magbibigyan ngayon. Kaya tanggapin mo ang aming mga handog sa pangalan ni Jesus. And everybody said, Amen. Come on, let's give to the Lord. Amen? Thank you for that wonderful message, Dr. Saul, and thank you, everybody, for joining us today. This is now the end of the service, and I think we are ready to head out, but before we do that, we have some things to look forward to with this week. Now, every time we go for service, we have things happening as well, aside from this Sunday. Now, if this is the first time, in case it is the time you tuned in at this very exact moment, my apologies, but this time is the end of the service. You might want to catch the VOD, or you might have to watch us again on the next airing. When is the next airing, perhaps? In case you're watching us on the online services, you might want to catch us 10 a.m., 3 p.m., 6 p.m., Philippine Standard Time every Sunday. And you can catch us on Facebook, Church Online, and other platforms that you can uh, see. We'll have that posted right there on the screen right now so that you know where to catch, where to catch us, of course. Other things to do note, uh, we also have services happening in the middle of the week. Yes, that's right. What are these, by the way? Let me tell you the following. First, we have the midweek service at 7 p.m. Wednesday. We also have this on Zoom, so we'd like you to join us there. This is the best time to basically catch up and basically, you know, listen to the message and also basically have yourself refreshed. The cool part about this is there is an interaction moment. These are the times when you both reflect and model together with us on that particular message, let us know your takeaways and basically how does this help you learn or what's going to be happening in the week. Also, aside from that, we also have prayer meetings. Fridays to onwards, also happening on Zoom. If you want to join us on the prayer chain, let us know. Give, a, give us a heads up on our message, our message group and we'll give you a chance to hop in. Just make sure to also hop in with us because we are going to need that prayer chain going. Everybody gets a chance pray. So let's pray together in this manner. Now, we also have other things coming up, in-person services as well, just to look forward to that. Make sure to pin yourselves together. Make Watch out for announcements on that particular moment. We're going to have them flashed on Gateway Community Church on Facebook. Catch us there, and we'll give you more details on what to look forward to. All right. So far, that's everything for this month and also for this week. We'll catch you again next time on the next service. My name is Zeke. This is Gateway Community Church, where we reach people and transform lives. We'll see you again next Sunday. God bless you all.